Now there are a lot of things that Samsung makes more difficult than some smartphone manufacturers out there. Like using Odin instead of using ADB or Fastboot tools to flash various system images to the device. And just cluttering up the settings application with dozens if not hundreds of different features but one of the things that Samsung does well is allowing you to unlock the bootloader now heads up this will only work if your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is the Exynos version the international version so you have an application right here called Ida64 showing us that we are running the SOC Samsung Exynos 9. This current method will not work on the Snapdragon version, which is what you'll get from a US wireless carrier. And at least with the Galaxy S9, this method will not work with the US unlocked version either. That is a SIM unlocked version, not a bootloader unlocked version. So today, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to unlock the bootloader of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Before we start anything, we need to go ahead and enable developer mode. If you're not familiar with how to do that, check the, link, the full description below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. The full, tu the full tutorial that I have written on my website shows you exactly how to enable developer mode that needs to be enabled before we start anything. So now that we're caught up with that, we're just going to need to open up the settings application. And we're going to scroll down and then tap on the developer options option. And then right here, we're going to see this OEM unlock option. So right there, right toward the top on the first page, just tap on OEM unlock, that toggle. It's going to ask us, are we sure that we want to OEM unlock the device? It will be reset to its factory default resettings. After it restarts, this is a security measure done to prevent people from installing malware and viruses on your device and then selling it to you while you think you have unmodified software when actually you have something else on there. So then we're just going to tap on enable. We're going to tap on delete all. And then we are going to wait for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 to reboot. Just like the message said, it's going to do a factory reset. This is normal on all devices where you unlock the bootloader. When you unlock the bootloader, and even when you lock the bootloader, it is going to do a factory reset to make sure that all of the software on that device is exactly as it should be directly from the factory. And since this is the first time the device has booted up after doing a factory reset, naturally the first boot cycle is going to be longer than normal. Android and Samsung's version of Android has a lot of stuff to set up here. So we just need to wait and be patient during this process.
we do understand how easy it is go to go into panic mode when something like this happens when it takes a long time for a smartphone to boot up after you have done a modification or changed a specific setting but again just be patient let it do its thing Now we have started booting back up into Android. Samsung is installing their applications. And then we're going to be taken to the typical Samsung Android activation screen. I'm going to go, and th go, and go through and skip through all of this. So as you can see, Samsung is still setting up a whole bunch of stuff now that I have done that factory reset from unlocking the bootloader of the Galaxy Note 9 and just to show you that this actually worked we're gonna go into settings I went ahead and unlocked the developer mode I enabled developer mode so we're just gonna scroll down go into the developer options and right there you can see the OEM unlock option the toggle is on and now we are told that the bootloader is already unlocked. Now again, just like before, if I were to lock the bootloader, which I only recommend if you have completely reset and put factory software back on the phone, when we lock the bootloader again, it will go through that same process. It will shut down, it will do a factory reset, and it will wipe all of, the, all of the data we had on our device. Just a heads up. And now you know that is how quickly and easily it is to unlock the bootloader of the Galaxy Note 9.